Today, we are going to learn how to revolutionize your inbox. Hi, my name is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Let's nerd out. The first feature that we are going to take a look at is how Copilot can help us draft an email. So from the main message window, you can see that we can type a forward slash or simply select draft with Copilot. From here, in plain language, what we would like this email to say, and in our case, it is going to be to let the team know that we're moving the product launch date two weeks earlier. The new deadline is now May 15th. There are also some generation options down here. So if you would like to switch things up, you could turn this into a poem and even make it a very long poem. Alternatively, we can just simply select the defaults going with a direct tone and short length and then click generate. So we can see here that Copilot has taken that input and just made it a more well-rounded email message to let the team know about the change in the new deadline. You can simply keep this. Alternatively, an easy thing to do if you do just wanna see what a different response would look like would just be to click regenerate. And then we can see here that Copilot is going to take the same inputs and regenerate again. So we can see that there is a new response here. Perhaps we should add some more context. Down in this little message box area, we can provide more input. For example, let's say that we want to add that we had a breakthrough in R&D with huge progress being made. Be excited. So let's go ahead and regenerate. So we can see how adding this additional context has provided a more tailored response. If you wanted to go back, then you can toggle between the different response generations from the top menu here. And once you've selected the one that you like, then we can go ahead and select keep it. And now that we have saved all of this time, you can tweak this email as needed and you are ready to go. So we can see here that we have a response from Sarah about our product launch date change. And one of my favorite features of Copilot in Outlook is the ability for Copilot to provide a summary. We can see here that there's a quick snapshot summary about this email thread. Think about the hours that you are going to save, particularly when you come back from a holiday and you are getting caught up. And we can see that one of these key points is that Sarah has responded to say that they've had some delays with the launch events. Oh no, what are we going to do? So we are going to need to now have Copilot help us draft a reply. And when we click that reply button, Copilot is taking that summary, it's taking the context that it has from the emails and providing some prompts here. So let's go ahead and click on ask for details. So we can see here that Copilot is going to be generating a response, asking Sarah for some more details on those delays. We can see here that a nice email has been drafted, which we can see here it says, can you please provide some more details? about the delays and difficulties in securing some of those dates. So if you wanted to keep this, and we can certainly do that. Another great feature that I personally enjoy is this custom draft. So here, similar to that initial draft, we can ask Copilot in plain language to draft an email to Sarah, thanking her for her efforts in coordinating the event, explain that we do need to secure some of those dates as the launch date is confirmed. Let us know if there's anything that we can do to help. We have those options here for the generation. And then once you are all set, we can click generate. We can see here that this is a little bit of a difficult email to send to Sarah and Copilot has helped us, you know, make this as nice as possible. Thanking Sarah for her efforts and then explaining that unfortunately we do need to secure some of those dates. We understand that it might be challenging and we really appreciate her hard work. Please let us know if there's anything that we can do to assist you. So this is just going to save you time on all of those little nitty gritty emails that you send throughout the day. Have you ever forwarded an email to a coworker to ask them to review it before forwarding it to the ultimate recipient? Now we can go ahead and use Copilot to coach our emails. So here we're going to see that Copilot is analyzing our email and it's going to be reviewing that response that we actually just drafted with Copilot. You can use your own response, but we can see here that now we are getting feedback on tone as well as sentiment and clarity. One thing that I really like is that it says, instead of saying this, the email could say this, but just keep in mind that we need to use our judgment when we are taking on these suggestions as Copilot doesn't have the full context of the situation. And I'm sure that we can all relate to the challenges faced when trying to search for emails within Outlook. 
And a quick note, if you are enjoying this video and you wanna help me out, then please give this video a thumbs up as it really helps me get traction in the algorithm. We now have our own personal assistant with Copilot Chat. So let's ask Copilot to provide a summary of emails from Sarah for product launch event. And look at that, we can see that Copilot has now generated a nice summary and Sarah has even expressed her excitement about securing a venue, which is fabulous. And here are the venue details. We are serving appetizers and champagne featuring oysters on the half shell. Another great thing about these summaries is that Copilot even provides citations. And if you click on those citations, then you can select the title of the email and it will open up the email so that you can easily reference where that piece of information came from. And you can even ask Copilot to help you prepare for items in your calendar. So prepare me for my upcoming product launch meeting. So we can see here that Copilot is going through our emails, my calendar, and providing me with information that could be beneficial to help prepare me for this upcoming meeting. Pretty cool, hey? And while we are in Copilot for Microsoft 365, I just wanted to highlight some of my favorite prompts. When we view prompts, then we can see all of these prompts from Copilot Lab here. And if you find one that you particularly enjoy, then you can just save that. And then when you come back later, you can easily filter for your saved prompts. But if you select this get calendar info, then it automatically puts this forward slash and it's going to pull people and then automatically have people from your organization. So then you can scroll through and select specific people for Copilot to reference when your next meeting is. Another one is this help me write an email to my team about top priorities for next quarter. And you see here that there's this file which is grayed out and that's once again that forward slash and from the top menu here we are default on files. So you can scroll through and select a recently used file in order for Copilot to draft this email for you. And a last but not least is going to be prepare for that meeting. So when we select this prepare for that meeting, it's got the meeting is grayed out this time. And we can see here that from the top drop down menu, all of our meetings that are upcoming are going to be available for selection. We can select this and have Copilot generate all of this content just as we would if we had a personal assistant. Oops. If you wanted to expand even more, then you can see all prompts in Copilot Lab. This is a great resource to familiarize yourself with some Copilot, or you can just subscribe to my channel and I will keep you updated. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I do hope that I've helped you discover your internet today. We will catch you in the next video.